Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, Music and Tech. Again, this is Kevin. So we are still at Charter Street, and you can see a lot of things going on here. You have the Salem Witch Village. You have the Salem Wax Museum. I think there's a haunted house here. I mean, a haunted house um, place where you can pay and see what's inside. Looking at the houses, both on my left and right. These are houses built in the early to mid 19th century, so around 1800s to 1850. So we're, gonna, we're walking towards the witch house. You have a Salem in here on my right. Look at that house. It's really old. But you're always I'm always fascinated looking at these old houses. So that grey building over there, just ahead of us, is the witch's house. And across the street from it, which is on my left, you have a flagpole over there with American flag. That is Captain William Driver Monument. So the monument serves to honor Captain William Driver, who is a Salem native credited with naming the American flag Old Glory. Born in on March 17, 1803. So he gave his service as a seaman, you know. Between Captain Driver moved to Nashville, Tennessee, and during the start of the um, Civil War, because he yes, he was afraid that the the flag that was created by his mother, who named named All Glory, would be taken by the Confederates, so he took it and hid it, so that it will not be taken away from him. So that's the Salem Witch House. They're really old and it's significant because it is where John Corwin lived, who is a, um, one of the judges of the Salem Witch Trials. You can see a lot of people are queuing up to take picture in front of the house. And then if you want to tour the house inside, you have to pay quite an amount like I mean, the witch tour is around eighty dollars, so I'm not particularly sure how much is set to go in the house. So this house is one of the only remaining buildings that has a direct link to the Salem witch trials. Initially, I thought. They call this as the witch house because a witch who was accused lived here, but no, it's actually Jonathan Corwin, so one of the judge. Actually, Captain Nathaniel Davenport owned the house originally, and it was bought by Jonathan Corwin on, in 1675. Look at this house, very beautiful, really huge. Yeah, really a lot of people here taking pictures. And considering um, it's raining, it's really cold today on a Sunday morning. This, this crowd is not as big that we're expecting, it should be bigger. So I'll pause my video here. If you like this video, please click like. And then if you want to see my other videos, please do subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. Have a good day and goodbye. See you in the next video.